Hi, my name is Muhammad Hilmi Bashar Niza, metric number S5626. Uh, for question 1.1, uh, Gregor Mendel, through his works on P+, discovered the fundamental laws of inheritance. He deduced the genes come in pairs and are inherited as distinct units, one from each parent. Mendel tracked the segregation of parental genes and the appearance in the offspring as dominant or recessive traits. He recognized the mathematical patterns of inheritance from one generation to the next. Mendel's law of hereditary are usually stated as the law of segregation, the law of independent assortment, and the law of dominance. Question 1.2 Mendelian laws apply to meiosis in any organism and may be generally stated as follows. At meiosis, the alleles of the gene segregates equally into the haploid products of, of meiosis. At meiosis, the alleles of one gene segregate independently of the alleles of genes on other, on, on other chromosome pairs. Mendel was performing the hybrid crosses, which are crosses between organisms that differ with regard to two, two traits. He discovered that the combinations of traits in the offspring of his crosses did not always match the combination of traits in the parental organisms. From his data, he formulated, he formulated the principle of independent assortment. Question 1.3 Meiosis created cells that are destined to become gametes or reproductive cells. This reduction in chromosome number is critical. Without it, the union of two gametes during fertilization would result in offspring. With twice the normal number of chromosomes, chromosomes are located in the nucleus of each cell containing the DNA comprising genes. Genes are passed from parent to child, making each of us unique. Having the correct number of chromosomes is critically important to having a successful pregnancy. If, if embryo does not have the correct number of chromosomes, then the baby may fail to develop properly. For example, people with Down syndrome have three copies of chromosome 21 instead of two copies found in other people. Question 1.4 Crossing over is the swapping of genetic material that occurs in the germ line during the formation of egg and sperm cells, also known as meiosis, pet chromosome from each parent and line so that similar DNA sequences from the pet chromosome cross over one another. Crossing over results in shuffling of genetic material and is an important cause of genetic variation seen among offspring. The child that form out of one of those chromosomes once now has a piece of his or her grandmother's chromosome 1 and a piece of his or her grandfather chromosome 1. This crossing lets inheritance of one organism to another. Thank you.